What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Bubbaville Bassin. I'm going to be cleaning my kayak. going on guys i just got me some food after cleaning my kayak and uh all that good stuff you know how many times can i say all that good stuff in each video that is ridiculous i'm gonna get a count on that one day because that is that is outright funny but anyways so i'm gonna show you the kayak and what, what kind of kayak features my kayak has and if i have done any modifications which i have done two two modifications to my kayak Actually, I've done three because I put some ends on the seats so it wouldn't slip out the, the holsters on the side of the seats. But, uh, yeah, let me show you my kayak. So, kayak's got a rear hatch here. I just use that for a life jacket. It's got a nice handle here, drain plug, as most kayaks should have a drain plug. Not unless you got a little tiny one, you can just dump it over. You got a bungee cord for, um, for your coolers or whatever you want to put back here, really. Then you got this back hatch. This is where I store all my tackle boxes and everything. Actually, me and my buddy, we actually turned our hatches around because they would want to open up this way instead of opening up back this way, which is way more convenient because it's not hitting your seat. And it stops itself right here. You got two rod holders in the back. You're actually supposed to put this bungee cord over the seat, but I didn't do that because I was taking my seat out. And then also what I wanted to explain to you is, is that I had some old pond hose that I heated up and I put on the edge of my chair so that way it can't come out the come out the holster. I got this little guy. I don't have my uh my piece in there, you know, to hold my stuff to keep it dry because I just cleaned the kayak out. And then I got this hatch right here. You see that big old foam block right here? There's one right here as well. You can stand up on it. The kayak's 13 feet long, and it's about ni roughly 90 to 98 pounds, give or take. You got your feet pieces right here, and then you got the T-rail. You can mount any type of GoPro-related accessory or um, fish finder, and you got two rod holders right here, and you got another bungee for whatever you want to put up there. You got a you got a little leash right here so you can pull yourself up to stand. It did come with a uh, fishing rod tip protector, but I took that off because my rods would always get stuck and it's got these little grooves to, you know, put your put your rods in. But um now that's my uh that's my review on the kayak. I mean, it's a great kayak. You know, I spent like 80 800 bucks on it. And I got you know, a good deal on that. I think that's when it first came out. I believe that's the 2017 model. But, um, thanks guys for watching my, uh, latest episode of Bubbleville Bassin TV. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Peace.